you be a better man, that you be a better husband, a better father, a better cousin, a better uncle, a better friend, a better businessman. As I clean my body, clean his house, I ask you to clean my heart, clean my mind. Guide me. smile. Make her smile brighter. Uh, make my smile brighter. Help me in business. Help my finances. Thank you, Lola. So they cried, overtook them at sunrise. Thus we turned it upside down, and it rained upon them hard stones. Surely in this are songs for those who take a lesson. And it is not and it is on a road that still abides. Verily therein is a sign for the believers, and the dwellers of the grove were indeed iniquitous. So we, so we infected retribution on them, and they are both on an open high road. Six, and the dwellers of the rock indeed rejected the messenger, and we gave them old message, but they turned away from them, and they hewed houses in the mountains in security. So they overtook them in the morning, and what they, what they earned availed them not. And we created not the heavens and the earth and what is between them, but with truth. And the hour is surely coming, so turn away from your kindly forgiveness. Surely the Lord, he is the creator, the knower, and certainly we have given three, seven, oft repeated verses in the Grand Quran. Strain not their eyes at what we have given certain classes of them to enjoy and grieve not for them and make thyself gentle to the believers and say I am indeed the plain warner like as we sent down on them who took oaths. 91 those who divided the Quran into parts so by the Lord we shall question them all as to what they did Okay. The mouse is one who examines things in order to know the real character. A thing from outward signs. Hence, one who takes a lesson from the fate of others. The dwellers of the grove or shola people, but whether they are the same as people of Madan is not agreed upon. Islam signifies a role because it is persuade a follow, a follow. The root being Ama, meaning he direct his course by both are meant the cities of people of Lot as well as those of Shoah's people. The role Allah 
Two is the road followed by caravans from the Hala to Syria. The dwellers of the rock are the people of the mountain. The verse gives us a true insight into the Holy Prophet's mind. One instant only in the conqueror of Makkah is sufficient to prove this. When having captured the city which had, which had most traumatically driven him out with followers and whose people were guilty of shedding the innocent blood of the Muslims, he forgave all. The fact that the seven off repeated verses are the seven verses of the opening chapter is known to every Muslim. The verse must be repeated by every Muslim, every single rakah, and every prayer to which he is at liberty to add to, to add any other portions of the Holy Quran. Thus, every Muslim repeats this seven verses at least 30 times a day. No other portion of the Holy Quran being repeated so often. The Prophet himself is reported to have said that the seven oft-repeated verses were the seven verses of the I don't know that word, Fala, according to the same Haba, the Fataha is called the Grand Quran. It is also called because it contains the essence of the world of the Quran. The verse giving us a picture of the mind, of the holy mind, for which the riches and the ebullient of the life had no temptation and the unequal simpl simplicity of this life from time he married a rich widow to the time he ruled Ar Arabia may be guessed from the last scene of his life which he ordered the last penny in his house to be given to the poor the verse Moreover, draws a picture of the uttermost kindness and greatness, which is shown to his followers. The straining of the eye signifies looking derisively. Um, Jesus, I would like to talk to you about the color. Why it acts so funny. And my wives and how do okay another question in 2005 I was here with my wife now I'm divorced but I still haven't got no income here so what's so special about North Carolina what's so special here Jesus may you Answer my question, please. Jeremiah, the sons are taken captive, and thy daughters captive. Yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the later days, says the Lord. Thus far is the judgment of Moab. Conquering the Amotites, thus says the Lord, has Israel no sons, has he no hair. Why then does their king inherit? Gad and his people dwell in the cities. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah of the Amalekites, and it shall be a desolate heap, and her daughters shall be burnt with fire. Then shall Israel be hair unto them that went with her, says the Lord. How, O Hishborn of Ah, is spoiled. Cry, ye daughters of Rabbah. Guard you with sackcloth, lament, and run to and from by the hedges. For their king shall go into captivity, 
and his priests and his princes together. Wherefore, glorious thou in thy valleys, thy flowing valleys, O backsliding doors, that trust in her treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? A woman that trusts in her money. Hmm. Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, says the Lord, God of hosts, from all those that be about thee, and ye shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wonders. And after I will bring again the captivity of the children of Emirates, says the Lord, concerning Iman, thus says the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more Timon is counseling parish from the prudent. Is their wisdom vanish? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dion, for I will bring the calamity of Isha upon him, the time that I will visit him. If great gathers come to thee, will thee not leave some gleaning grapes? If these by night they will destroy till they have enough. But I have Esau, bear I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy father's children, and I will preserve thee alive, and yet be widowed trust in me. For thus says the Lord, Behold, those who those judgments, those judgments was not to drink of the cup, but surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, says the Lord, that Basal shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and, a, and the ambassadors is sent unto heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come against her and rise up for the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despite um, among men. Their terribleness has deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart, O thou dwell in the cities of the rock that holds the highest of the hill. Thou shalt, though thou shouldst make thy nest as high as the edges, I will bring thee down from this, bring these down from thence, says the Lord. Also, Edom shall be a, des a desolate. Every one that goes by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. As in, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbors' cities thereof, says the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son or man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is chosen man that I may appoint over her? For man that I may appoint over her, for who is like me? And who is appointed me the time? And who is the shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Edom and his purpose, that he, his purpose against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their inhabitants desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall, 
and the cry of the noise thereof was heard at the Red Sea. Behold, we shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Bazar. And that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pains. Concerning Demarcus, he, he man, is confronted, is confounded, and appalled, for they heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Democritus is wax feeble and turned himself into flea, and fear has seized on her. Anguish and sorrows has taken her as a woman travail. How is the city of praise not felt? Is that felt or less? Uh, how is the city of praise not left? The city of my joy. Therefore, her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in the day, says the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Democritus, and it shall be consumed the palace of ben -Hai. Concerning Kida, and concerning the kingdom of Hazar, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, shall smite. Thus says the Lord, Arise ye, go up to Kida, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall take them take away, and they shall take to themselves their curtains and all their vessels and all their camels, and they shall cry to them, Fear is on every side. Flee, get out, get you far off. Dwell deep, O ye inhabitants of Zah, says the Lord, for Nebuchadnezzar, King of Babylon has taken counsel against you and has concerned a purpose against you. Arise, get you get up, get you up unto the wealthy nation that dwells without care, and the Lord which hath neither gates nor bars which dwell alone. And the camel should be a booty, and the multitude of the cattle a spoil. And I will scatter unto all winds that are in the utmost corners. And I will bring their commodity from all sides thereof, says the Lord. And Hazar, 33, and Hazar shall be a dwelling for dragons and desolation for her. There shall no man abide there, nor any son or man dwell in it. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, the prophet against Elam, in the beginning of the reign of Zechariah, king of Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might, and upon Elam I will bring the four winds from the four quarters of the heaven. And I will scatter them towards all those winds, and there shall be no nation with whither the outcast in Elam shall not come. Okay? So I'm just saying, beware of a woman that has wealth that need, and she doesn't need no one. She says she don't need no one. Beware of a woman with wealth that says she needs no one. She is wicked. Beware of an independent woman that says she needs no one. Okay. Check the weight. Check the weight.